Curious people and welcome back to the Curiosity Kingdom. Today we are celebrating 100 days of Curiosity Kingdom. So I am presenting you with a new and special video. Whenever we cross 100 days means 100, 200, 300, I will try to bring a very nice and special video for you. So don't forget to subscribe to Curiosity Kingdom for such amazing videos and support us and congratulate us for 100 days by giving this video a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel. So let's begin. In this video we are going to discuss about Zonalism. It may sound new to you, but when you know about some really interesting facts and its meaning, you are going to be really amazed by it. So let's start as usual. I'm Athar Dobe and let's begin. This video is based on two incidences that occurred in 1997. This begins when Nathan Zohar, a 14 year boy of Eagle Rock Junior High School in Idaho Falls, Idaho, conducted his science fair project and it was based on this theme. In his science fair presentation, he took up a very important cause to ban a very harmful and dangerous chemical known as DHMO or dihydrogen monoxide. In his experiment, he showed some really true facts about this chemical like it is a major component of acid drain, it contributes to erosion of our natural landscape, has been found in excised tumor of terminal cancer patients, may cause electrical failures and decrease effectiveness of automobile brakes accelerates the corrosion and the sting of many metals. Symptoms of ingestion include excessive sweating and urination. For those who have developed a dependency on this DHMO, complete withdrawal means certain death, means it is super addictive. Despite of all these dangers, it is widely being used as an industrial solvent and coolant, in nuclear power plants, in production of styrofoam, in many forms of animal research, in distribution of pesticides even after washing produce remains contaminated by this chemical DHMO and also it is used as an additive in certain junk foods and other food products. So here's a question which he took up from his classmates and asked them that do you think this DHMO should be banned? Obviously it seems to be a very nice open and shut case and 86% said yes we want to ban this chemical. And for the, those 14% who said no and the ones watching said no, we should not ban DHMO, you are just, I don't have words, you are just absolutely brilliant. Yes, you are brilliant because you have a good sense of observation. This video was a gullibility test for you. Gullibility is a tendency to be easily persuaded that something is real or true. He, Nathan Zohar, named this experiment how gullible can people be? If you look back, what is DHMO? DHMO is dihydrogen monoxide. Dihydrogen means two hydrogen atoms and monoxide means one oxygen atom, which is H2O. Though it's a quite unscientific name, but still, it is dihydrogen monoxide is nothing but H2O, which is water. And now I don't need to tell you how important water is and what will happen if we ban water. Okay. In recognition of this experiment, journalist James K. Glassman coined the term Zoharism, which means the use of true facts to lead a scientifically and mathematically ignorant public to a false conclusion, or in other words, presenting a situation according to your wish by omitting certain true facts, like Zohar did. He only showed the facts which were dangerous regarding water and made the children or the students sitting in front of him assume and think that this is very dangerous. Similar types of techniques are used by politicians in which they show any particular act of the government or policies according to the party's propaganda or agenda. For example, a ruling party may only show the positive side of any act or bill, whereas the opposition may only show the negative side in order to show proof that the government has done wrong. Similar things are done by salesmen while selling products in which they only show the positives of the product and may not mention the negative or the flaws of the product which they are selling. So how to prevent being fooled? And how to prevent being gullible. The simple answer to this is research. Before you buy anything, make an important decision or make any opinion regarding anything, don't just go on whatever you see or whatever you listen. First of all, do some deep research about it, after which you will have all the positive and the negative facts about a particular thing and then think about it and make up your mind or take your decision. And by doing this, you will be prevent yourself getting fooled. So that's the end of this video. Hope you find this video interesting. 
If you learned something new, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And also, Curiosity Kingdom, as I already told you, has completed 100 days. Thanks for everyone who has supported Curiosity Kingdom for watching the videos, for giving us nice, nice comments, and so on. That's the end of this video. Thank you for watching and stay curious.